What's up folks, this is Tony Tours Toronto and today's video is going to be all about going to Kim's Convenience. I hope you like it. I hope you like, subscribe and share for more content like this and uh, watch till the end. It really helps the YouTube algorithm if you'll like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you so much and I hope that you enjoy. All right, folks, so we're gonna take a left onto Jones. I didn't start recording from the house because y'all y'all seen that a time or two. So I'm gonna be recording from here on out till we get to the destination. And uh, cause I think it's some stuff that you haven't seen on the channel. Anyway, stay tuned and I hope you like.
Okay, folks, here we are. Kim's Convenience. This is awesome. Anyway, this is a place where I've always wanted to come and uh, check it out since I came to Toronto. And now I have. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna see if I can get some footage inside. Okay, folks, this is my attempt at some voiceover. I wanted to uh, kind of narrate this. My plan was to go in and even though this is not the location where Kim's Convenience is shot, it's actually shot in a film studio somewhere here in Toronto. Uh, this is just an example of a normal convenience store that you find all across the city. It's real tight. There's product everywhere. Uh, sometimes it's not organized that great. Um, I'm going kind of going around the perimeter. I'm going to purchase me a uh, protein shake to refuel because um, I still require a lot of calorie output and energy output when I'm on my bicycle. But uh, anyway, this is, this is a typical convenience store. Uh, crammed, packed, full of stuff. Um, everything set up to be uh, accessible by bicycle or walking or in the older parts of a larger city uh, usually are not vehicle-centric. They are catered to people uh, who live in a small community. And you can, you can walk everywhere. You can get milk, bread, if you'll notice here, all these spices and stuff, salad dressings. Uh, there's an interesting salad dressing that I've never heard of, which is right there, Russian uh, salad dressing. So anyway, it's, uh, it's all very neat. And this convenience store is actually owned by a Korean couple, just like the store in Kim's Convenience. And uh, according to what I read on the internet, they were more than happy to change their name to Kim's Convenience. Okay, that was pretty cool. Incidentally, here's my bicycle that I rode today. I call it the Black Bull. It's fun. It's just as fun as my red road bike. Anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna put it up, I'm gonna put the camera up, and I'm gonna film until the battery runs out. I'm about 30 minutes away from the house, so we'll see how long the battery lasts. Okay, folks, so uh, I'm heading back home now. I'm about five miles away from the house at this point. I'm headed east on Queens East, and I'm going to eventually turn on Sherburn. And this road, not Sherburn, yeah, Sherburn, Lower Sherburn, anyway. Uh, this road is uh, headed away from Lake Ontario towards Bloor East, and I'll turn right onto Bloor East, which goes across this viaduct, and once you get across the viaduct, I'll be on Danforth. Pay attention to Danforth and notice how uh, the bike lane and stuff has changed. Uh, Toronto is getting ready for outdoor dining again. Uh, the patios, patios will open up and stuff like this. But I wanted to say a little bit, a little bit of something about this ride here. Uh, this Sherburn stretch is about two kilometers of uh, uphill. It's a, it's a gradient, uh, low. It's a low grade, uh, gradual uphill climb, and it's oddly tough. Um, I would rather ride one big hill that's a short distance, that's that's a steep grade because you can typically power through that and you can. You know, just just breathe through it, um, shift down to a low gear, and just grind. But this uh, ride is very hard on me because it's all uphill, and there's really no coast. It there's no coasting. Uh, there's no there's no relief. It will of course, except when you stop it at red lights and such. But anyway, um, if you'd like to just play this out to the end, I'm letting it film here to the battery dies. And uh, let me know in the comment section of places that you'd like me to go visit in Toronto, stuff that you'd like to see on video. Um, I want to kind of curate. I don't know if I'm uh, so uh, ambitious as to think I can curate an active community here associated with Tony Tours Toronto, but it would be nice to get some followers that were interactive, that liked to see the videos, 
and give me some feedback. Uh, what are some things to work on? Uh, what would you like to see more of? Would you like more narration like this? Um, anyway, that's all I've got here. This has been Tony Tours Toronto. Again, like, subscribe, share, and uh, thank you so much. And yes, the video ends abruptly because that's where the battery on my GoPro died. All right, we'll see y'all later.
All right, folks, if you've watched this far, you are very dedicated, and I am very appreciative and thankful. So be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and let me know the other places that you would like me to go visit in Toronto. And hopefully, I'll be able to produce a video every other week, maybe every week, depending on how things go with my local work and such like. Thank you so much. This has been Tony Tours Toronto, and I hope you like the content.